a very warm welcome to you. Thank you for joining us in this tutorial. And in this tutorial, we are going to learn how to create a CRM in Excel. Now, this is an easy tutorial to follow. Kindly follow this up to the end. Now, we are going to assume that I deal in video editing. So at the top here, I'll put the different columns and this will change depending on what you want to manage with your CRM. So I'm going to call the first one here, project name. Let me just call this one project number. You notice if it goes beyond the cells here, you simply come at the top and you double click so that it now fits this. You can also do what we call text wrapping. If I undo that, then click on this. I can come to the top here and click on wrap text so that this column does not extend this side. So then I'm going to call this name. Then I'm going to have a column here for owner. And then I'm going to call this maybe another column for status. And then I'm going to call maybe this column here for value. Let me put it as cost. And then I'm going to put here the email. And then maybe a contact number here. And then I can put the priority and so on and so forth. So you can do this up to the end, depending on the number of columns that you need, depending on your project. Then I'm going to highlight all this. I'm going to make it bold that way. So that's where we want to begin. Now I can rename this sheet, this one, and I'm going to call it projects. And then I'm going to create another tab here that is for sheet two. And I'm going to rename that and call it dashboard that way. Now, with the dashboard, this is where I'll be able now to view the summary of what I need from my project list here. So how now do we create things here? So let me put this as project number one, then project number two, project number three, and so on and so forth. And since I don't want to enter this up to the end, I can select all these and then drag this and drop. Let me go up to 20. There, you notice it auto inserts for me the numbers. Then here I have the name, I have the owner, I have the status. Now let's come to status here because for the status, maybe I only have three status for this video project. Maybe I have complete, incomplete, ongoing and all that. So how now do we create the columns for that? I'm going to highlight the whole of this tab for status and then click on data at the top here and then you come to data validation here and then after clicking on data validation, click on data validation here and then under settings, you come to allow here under any value, we want to create a list. So you click on list. And now which status do we want for our project here? So we want this one to be complete. Uh, we also want maybe another one to be new. And then we also want another one ongoing. If you notice, I'm basically using commas to indicate different project status. So that's what you do. And depending on your project, you can use different wordings here. So I'm just going to use these three, complete, new, and ongoing. Now, then click on OK. Now, if you come back here, you notice any cell you click under status has this drop down arrow. You click on that arrow, you notice we have complete, new, and ongoing. Should you need maybe to add something, you simply do the same thing. Click on that, come to data validation, data validation here. Then now you can add another one here. Maybe if you feel you need to add another one. Uh, so let's add this one. Let's just add ended so that now we have several. So if I come click here, you notice we have complete new ongoing and ended. But you notice at the status here, it also has the same. And we don't want this status, the title to be affected. So what you do is you click that cell only, come to data at the top, come to data validation, and then click on data validation again. Then instead of clicking on list here, click on any value and click on OK. So what that does, it removes that drop down arrow from the status so that it only starts from the first project here. So let's come and give it a project name. So let's call this one YouTube videos. 
you notice it's extending, you can double click as we said. You can double click at the top here so that now it fits for that column. Then let's add the owner. Let's call this owner John. And then you now notice when we come to the status, I just click on that and maybe it's a new project. And then now I can come to cost. How do we customize the part for cost? You simply click again the whole cell there and then click on home here. Then here for general at the center here, you select currency because you want that to be a currency. So click on currency. And then now you'll notice if I come to cost here and maybe I type 100 and then click enter, you notice it's 100 Kenyan shillings because my currency is currently set at 100, is currently set at Kenyan shillings. To change the currency type, you simply come here and select from this list. You notice we have the pounds, you have the euros, we have the Chinese, so you select whichever you want here. Let me use the US pounds here. You notice it has changed there. So if I now just type the figures here, maybe 200, you notice automatically it changes to 200. It adds the currency, maybe 400. You notice the currency is auto inserted. So let's do the same here for priority. We click on priority there and then data, then data validation, data validation again. Instead of any value, we choose on list. And then here, now we want to give priority. So we want to call this one urgent. And then we want to call this one moderate. And then this one, let's call it not important. So I click on OK. So again, you notice if I come to priority again, you notice now I can have urgent, moderate, and not important. I want to call this one urgent. Let me remove the drop down arrow from the title here. So we can add all these other details here. Let's call this seminar video. And then the owner here, let's call that Mary. Then we come to status. You notice now we can select the status. This is ongoing. The value here, we can put the value. Let it remain at that value. Then we can put the email here. So you notice now this where we have our data. To make your work look better, you can always fill columns to make them look better and different. So for instance, I want to fill the top here with a blue color there. And then for cost column, this one, I want also to put a different color. Maybe I want to use that faded color there. If we now come back to our dashboard, this is where now we can add different values derived from our dashboard here. So for instance, let's come here and type here total projects. And then now, because we want the total project here to be a figure, we are going to type here is equals to, and then we now insert the formula is equals to count. Then what do we want it to count? Then we now click here, count. And then we come back to our project. We want it to count all this up to the end. So if we come back to dashboard, we just click on enter. You notice the value there is 20. So if we come back to projects and let's say delete 20, and then we come back to dashboard, you notice it has automatically changed to 19. Let's come back and delete from 16 all the way. We delete that we'll automatically update here. You notice the total projects have been updated there. So we can again use a different color for the total projects there. We want to use green for total projects. We also want it to be bold. We want it to be big and then we want it to fit in there. So you notice we can have total project there. And then we also want to maybe to add something maybe for status. Status. So again, for status here, we insert the formula again. We simply say is equals to, and then we also give it what to count. And then we give it the value to count here. So what do we want it to count? We want it to count if these columns here for status, all this, that is the whole of that column, if maybe it is whichever project we want to status, we want to compare here, we can now just type there. We want the one that is maybe ongoing. So you simply come here, if, and then you add ongoing. We want it to count these ones as much as it's only for ongoing. 
only maybe for ongoing or for new, whichever it is. So once you do that, you realize that automatically it tells you that ongoing, we have one project there. So you can do that for all the others. And so you come and select your data here and then click on insert. And then now you can decide on what kind of data presentation you want to select. For instance, we have here the recommended charts. So you can click on that to see the charts that are recommended. By selecting first, you have to select the cells that you want. And then you can now click on recommended charts. You notice we have the charts here. We can have the pie chart like this one. If I click on OK, you notice now we have our pie chart here. You notice now we have our pie chart here. So let's undo that. Let's just add a few more things here. Let's maybe let's just add a column for pending. Assuming we had added it to project here and then added the formula for it to detect automatically from our project here. So let's just add 10 that way. So we still do the same. We select our data here and then we come to insert and then we can click on recommended charts. But in case you want to use any of these other charts, you can always use that. So let's use this one. You notice how that one looks like. We can also use the second one here. We can use the first one here. So you can use any chart that you would want. So let me use this one. And remember, you can even do more than one chart. So let me do another graphical presentation of the same info. I just select the whole data there and then come to insert. And now I want to use these line graphs here. I can click on that. So you notice now we have that one presented there. Then we can arrange them. I want it to be there. I can even resize that by just dragging and dropping. And so with that now, you notice you'll have your simple CRM. If now I come here and change this to 20, you notice how my graph changes here. It does it automatically. That means if I come to my other side here, change anything, then my dashboard will automatically be updated and my graphs will be updated. Let's change the ongoing status, this very small one here. Let's put this at 40. Click enter. You now notice how our graph looks like. Ongoing, it's here, new, ended, pending. Let's improve on the new. Let's come to new and type that to be 20. You notice how it has shifted here. Let's re return that to 30 maybe. You notice it goes up again and the charts keep on changing. So you notice we have our own CRM well represented here. And that is how you create a CRM in Excel. I hope this has been helpful. Kindly like this video, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel.